Marlin. Uh, in this video, I'll be uh, showing you how to crochet. It's a video for absolute beginners. And in this first video, I'll be showing you how to make a slip knot. Uh, also, I'll be showing you the chain stitch so you can make a chain. And in the next video, I'll be showing you how to continue with your crocheting. All you really need to get started with crocheting is a crochet hook. Um, and some yarn and you can get both of these um, really cheap from secondhand shops I often find uh, crochet hooks uh, and yarn in secondhand shops so you don't if you you know if you want to try it out and see if it's for you you can get it really cheap uh, secondhand um, and also you're gonna need a pair of scissors and that's really all you need to get started and, and some patience, I should say. So let's get started. The material that I use. So here I have some different materials that I use when I crochet. Uh, <clears throat> I have this yarn, uh, it's 100% uh, cotton, um, I think that cotton or acrylic is really easy to use. Um, so, and, um, and here I have three different uh, crochet needles. This one is uh, aluminum and uh, here you have one with the uh, easy grip, um, also aluminum. In the hook and here I have a plastic handle and aluminum hook uh, I have a pair of scissors um, when you start you have to look at the description on the yarn uh, because here you can find what kind of uh, hook or needle to use uh, and uh, as you can see here uh, it says uh, five millimeters, um, and for US it's eight. And you usually sometimes they, they also say uh, UK uh, because it's different. Uh, but usually, most crochet hooks you can find them with a <clears throat> millimeter um, written on them. So. Um, and this is a 50 gram. I know in uh, the US um, they often look at the yards, um, but here in Europe we often look at the weight. And um, here you find, you know, the uh, the number of the color. Uh, when you start, you see there's. Uh, the one end of the yarn and inside you can get out the other end of the yarn uh, and I usually like to do that because if I use this uh, this trend then every time I'm, I'm pulling for new yarn um, you know it bounces around so I like to uh, I've already started to pull out the, usually I use the hook and then I get a big lump of yarn out and then um, and then I can find the other end and when you start I like to have a, a long piece of yarn when I start so here for this one, it says. Uh, for this one, it says I need a five millimeter, um, five millimeter hook. And um, as you get used to uh, crocheting, you're gonna know if if you how the tension is uh, when you crochet. Um, I usually um, crochet a bit. Uh, loose so I usually go down half a millimeter but for this uh, tutorial I'm going to use the right size so I here I have a I don't think you can see but here I have a five millimeter hook that I'm going to use for this 
And now I'll be demonstrating how to make a slip knot. At first, when you start to crochet, you need to make a slip knot. And I've seen many different ways um, of doing it, but this is how I do it. Um, I take the, the yarn like this. I have the end here. And I hold it like this. Go around to cross like this. And here on the back side, I take the yarn, pull it through like this, and I take the two ends and I just pull and I have a slip knot. So again, like this, hold it, go around, cross over. Pull through here, take the two ends and pull. Now I can just put the crochet hook in here and I just pull like this. Don't make it too tight because then you'll have trouble pulling the yarn through the loops. How to hold the crochet hook? hook um, if you're right-handed, you're going to hold the crochet uh, hook in, in your right hand. Um, and there are two ways. Uh, you can either hold it as a knife, or you can hold it uh, as you would hold a pen. And it doesn't really matter. I, I tend to switch, you know, when I, when I work, so it doesn't really matter. For now, so I don't block the light, I, I will hold it with a, with a pen hold. How to hold the yarn. This yarn uh, is the working yarn. This is the yarn that you're going to work with. Um, so you have to find a good grip. Uh, I've seen different me methods, but usually you, you want you want the, um, the working yarn over your index finger. So there are different ways of holding the yarn. Um, you can wrap it around a few times like this if you want to and just hold all, um, all of it like this. Um, you can weave it over your hands like this. So over, under, over like this. And hold the other end in the hand like this. Um, you need to find a way that's comfortable for you. I've, I've seen many tutorials where they keep the finger like this, but that's if you do that for a long time, you're going to get tired in your in your finger. So, um, just to show you, this is not how I hold it, but to show you the technique, I'm going to hold it like this now. And now I'll be showing you the chain stitch. So, this is the working yarn. So I take the crochet hook and I go left and under and I pick the yarn up and I go through the loop like this. So I ma just made my first chain. So again, left of the working yarn, pick it up and go through the loop. So left of the working yarn, pick it up and go through left of the working yarn, pick it up and go through. So left, pick it up and pull through. So uh, this where, where you go left and you pick the yarn up with a hook, this is called a yarn over. Uh, and then you pull through. So yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. So yarn over, pull through, 
yarn over and pull through. Now if you look at the look at the chains, you can see that it looks like um, looks like V's and on the back side you see that you have a bump in the back as well. I don't know if you can see that. So if you look at it from the side, you can see that there's bumps in the back. And this is the front. And the chains look like V's. So every V here is one chain. And the, the first one you made, the, the slip knot, it doesn't count as a chain. So the first chain is the one you make through, through the, um, the slip knot. So in the next video, I'll show you how to continue to crochet. So you can make um, a pot holder or a dish cloth or something like that. Like and subscribe if you like this. 